Hey everyone, welcome back again. So I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to make your own chatbot using ChatGPT API and Python. So without wasting time, let's start the video. Now let's talk about what is a chatbot. So according to the definition on Google, you can see that it is a computer program designed to simulate conversation between human users, especially over the internet. So you can see these chat words in many websites like if you open a banking websites and here in the bottom of the corner if you click here this is nothing but a chat word and you can ask any question here like uh, what is online banking if you give any query to it then it will give some suggestions and solution according to that so before we start the coding part we have to make an account on chat gpt or if you have already account so we need the api key from that account so to log into your account search on open ai api and from here go to the first link and click on sign up if you don't have a new account or, or click on login if you have already an account in chat gpt so i am clicking on login and i will go with continue with google and here click on my account so once you log in on to this page you can see that you have to install the open ai package into your machine so to install this package you need to open the command prompt so i am opening the command prompt and here we have to paste this code pip install open ai and after that click enter and this will install the all the packages needed for open ai so it is installing the package and i think it's all completed that's how your open ai is now installed inside your system after that you have to get a open ai api key so for that you have to click on personal and here you can see a button view api keys so click here and if you don't have any keys then you can click on create new secret key so you can create new secret key and here you can give the name of the key and after that click on the create secret key and after that to copy this key and after opening this key save inside your local machine so i am saving because i don't want to lo lose it okay so creation of api part is now completed so now moving to the coding part first we need to import the open ai package so we will import our open ai package here and after that the chatbot will greet the user with some message so for that we will print like hi user how may i how may i help you then user will give some input to the chatbot so for that here i am taking as user input a variable so user input is a variable and inside that user will give some input so this will be given by the user and this message is being printed by the chatbot so here chatbot is saying a user how may i help you and here user is giving some input to the chatbot okay and after that chatbot will print a response on the basis of user input so i am capturing the response inside response variable and for that i am using a function get response so get response is nothing but a function which is taking argument as user input and it will return some string so i am going to now define our get response function so here def get response so to define any function you have to write def then get response and here there will be some input here i am simply returning a, a string returning good to see you okay so i am writing anything that's coming into my mind and now after that i will print the response it will be good to keep these code inside the main part so here we will define our main function if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore and after that a colon and all these parts inside that main function so inside our main function chatbot is first greeting the user hi user how may i help you then user is giving input and based on that the user input or response is being generated by the def get response function so if we run these part of code so to run this code you have to write pi so i am going to first clear my screen cls and to run this code you have to write python chatbot dot py okay so if you run this code and here you can see that chatbot is 
greeting hi user how may i help you and now it's time for user to give some input to the chatbot so i am giving some input like what is 2 plus 2 and our chatbot is responding good to see you because our, our get response is only returning the good to see you message so it is nothing doing dynamically it is only printing the message which i have passed so to do the dynamic things that means uh, if we want to so to get response actually like chat gpt you have to implement the code of chat gpt so if you go to this link so you can here see that uh, after writing this code you can get some response from the chat gpt so i am copying this part and in the get response function paste this code okay so here you can now see that it is getting some response from OpenAI and it is using a model text DaVinci 003. You can read about these models and other things of ChatGPT API on this, on its documentation page. So here I am giving prompt as the input. Whatever input we are getting, it will be passed as a response. And here we will return the response. Okay. So now let's see what changes inside our the code. So if we run Python chat GPT, okay. So our chatbot is greeting again. Hi user, how may I help you? And here again we will give what is two plus two. And now here you can see that there are a lot of errors coming in your code. So it is basically uh, saying that no API key is provided. So in the error message, you can see that it is giving some suggestions that you can set your API key in code using openai.api key and you have to pass the API key. So we will use this one pen ai.api key and we will paste our API key inside this. So copy this one and paste it inside a string. So I hope now this error will have resolved and if we run it again so our chat gpt so our chatbot is saying hi user how may i help you and again i am giving what is 2 plus 2 so now you can see that it is generating some very interesting uh, output so here you can see that it, this is a list of dictionaries so if you see it from the beginning so here user is provided what is 2 plus 2 and it is starting a dictionary and inside that a warning message and many more things and here you can see that this is your answer so now we are extracting our answer from this dictionary so this is the response dictionary inside that we have a key of choices so we want response of choices and inside that you can see that there is a list so for accessing the first part of that list we are using zero and inside that list there is another dictionary and for that the key is text so i hope this will give the correct answer so run it again so user will again pass what is two plus two and now you can see that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, now our chatbot is responding very correctly. So now if you run the code again and uh, if you want to ask something else from the chatbot, then, then uh, ask question, what is the capital of India? So, what a nice thing, the capital of India is New Delhi. And now you have built your own chatbot using the python code you can see that our chatbot is accepting only one time prompt so we are giving some prompt to the chatbot like what is the capital of india what is two plus two and it is giving answer and after that it gets exit so if you want to chat with the chatbot in finite time so you have to use the while loop so we will so we will pass these quotes inside the while loop and here we will check if 
user dot input is equal to equal to exit that means if a user pass the exit keyword then it will be out of the loop and our program will end okay but if the user input is not exit it will give it will print some response based on the user input so now let's run our program again so python chatbot.py and here user will give some input so now i want what is your name so i am asking some interesting question so here the chatbot is giving answer my name is tony now let's give some another input to the chatbot who is tony <laughs> we want to ask some funny question from the chatbot tony is a popular name the name is derived from latin so it is giving some random answer based on the text devanki model which we are using inside this code so now so ask another question what is 10 into 10 so it is giving 10 into 10 is 100 so our chatbot is responding very correctly now ask another question what is python so python is a high level interrupted general purpose programming language so our chatbot is responding very very correctly to the near point and now if we want to exit from the code we have to type exit and now you can see that our code our program gets ended so if you want to see these types of video in upcoming days so please like the video and subscribe to the channel and share it with others so that others can also get benefit from this so for the next time take care and bye bye